What is up guys? Welcome back to another video here on the Fierce Fishing Channel. I am here at the spot that I've made my past couple of videos. And I'm hiking down to fish that first hole right now. I haven't been here in, um, I'd say a few uh, weeks, I think it's been. Last time I was here, I was with my friend and I made a video but I never got around to posting it and I don't think I'm going to because I didn't even record that much uh, fishing and I was more just messing around the whole time. But I'm hoping today I have a bit better of an outing and uh, I catch a lot of fish. And you guys will see how I do on the GoPro. So let's hope I have a lot of luck. There's the creek right there. Oh, the creek is looking more beautiful than ever right now. Everything's blooming on the sides. Bugs are everywhere. I can already tell I'm gonna have a good few days here. Um, I've decided I'm gonna record my GoPro today and Monday, so the last day I'll be here. But tomorrow on Sunday, I'm just gonna record on my phone a bunch of short clips for Instagram Reels and um, YouTube Shorts because I haven't done that in a while. I've just been filming long videos. But if I do catch any quality fish during that time, I will make sure to bust out the GoPro and record them. But um, today, I'm gonna be starting with this dry dropper. We're starting with a uh, Royal Wolf up top and a Copper John at the bottom. I got my uh, Sage Launch 3 weight with my Orvis Bat and Kill 3, or Bat and Kill 1, 3 weight reel. And um, the river seems to be a bit high right now, but I'm pretty sure that's not gonna affect us too much. And if anything, I think that'll help us out a bit. Let's see how I do. Got one. First fish of the day hooked up with. I've gotten a couple of uh, bites. This is the first one I've actually hooked. Oh, damn. Let's go. Second one right after I lost that first one. Uh, please don't let me lose this one. They're taking the Copper John. I took off the... Let me see. Let's see, we got a brown. Is this stocked or wild? This one is a uh, wild brown. Oh, wait. Yeah, I think he's a wild. Took the Copper John right after I missed that first fish. I just caught first one of the day. Very beautiful fish. I'm pretty sure this one's a wild, but I'm not 100% positive. But I'm gonna give it like 70% sure. Let's do an underwater release. Okay. First one of these though today. It took a while. I haven't caught a fish in like a good 45 minutes there. But I just got a nice little brookie. Your second species of the day. Nice little brookie took the squirmy. Super small fish, but they're native and super pretty either way. So let's get them out of here. I'm gonna switch batteries. Hopefully after that I can get a rainbow. The only species I have left to catch today in this creek. Got one. Got him on the reel. Let's see what it is. Hey, now we've got all three species today. We got a 
brook trout, brown trout, and a rainbow. This is biggest fish of the day, stocked rainbow. Here is third fish of the day, also third species of the day. Good fighter for the three weight. Very pretty rainbow. All these rainbows in this creek have really nice colors. But let me let this guy go. Super pretty fish. Got something. It's another rainbow. Oh. He didn't, I don't feel like he knows he was hooked till just now. I think this one's a bit bigger too. Come here, bud. Yeah, dude, on the three-way, all these fish fight so hard. Oh, don't fight me near the rocks, buddy. Oh, please. Please come over here. Uh, this one's on the bottom fly. Oh, let's go. Got him in the net. Yeah, this one's definitely a little bit bigger than the first one. Another nice... Rainbow trout almost just fell right there. Damn it. Um, this rig seemed to be working pretty well, but the sun's starting to set and I'm starting to see some flies, so I might switch back to a dry fly rig. But yeah, I'll have to see. But look at the beauty of this spot though, you can't really beat that. Middle of the wilderness in PA, nowhere gets better than that. I'm not gonna take a picture of this guy. I don't feel like he's as pretty as the fish before. So I'm just gonna release him on the video. Even though he's a bit bigger, a bit better of a fighter. Nice looking rainbow. Let's get him out of here. Got one in the slower water. It's a brown. Again, oh, he went for a run over there. Come in, bud. What is this, fifth fish of the day? Stock brown. Bigger than the last one. Yeah. I can't actually. These fish, even though they are stocked, their fins are so clean. I even confuse some of them for wilds in other videos. But some of the ones I catch here are wild, most of them are stocked. If I do mix that up, please don't hate me. But there's the fly I'm using. That's the one that seems to be working best today. Copper John. Worked well the other time I was here too. So I'm guessing it's a good fly to use in this stream. Maybe anywhere in the Poconos because I've used that all over here and it seems to always do well. Here's biggest brown of the day. Nice fighter too on the three weight. Let's get him out of here. Got one. Let's see, what do we got here? See this fish? I'm pretty sure this one's wild. I'm not positive, but I'm gonna give it benefit of the doubt and say it's wild took the copper john 
right there on the corner of the mouth. The fish is very squirmy. Look, there it is, sitting right there. Let me pop it out. Okay, guys, what is up? Welcome back. This is day two out here on the creek, and it is 6 a.m. right now. Um, I came out really early, set my alarm for 5 a.m., and now I'm out here. But let's see how good we do. I'm gonna record with the GoPro at first today, but then I'm gonna turn it off and just take pictures and take shorter videos on my phone. So, uh, wish me luck, even though when you guys are watching, we'll be watching this, it'll be uh, afterwards. But either way, wish me luck, and let's hope I catch some big trout today. Let's go guys. First fish of the day. This is a pretty big wild or native brook trout. I think he took the uh, squirmy. Yeah, he did. This is one of the bigger ones I've caught here on this creek. Nice way to start the morning. Probably gonna turn the GoPro off soon. Look at the colors on that fish. I feel like they're starting to get a bit more colored up now that it's starting to get into the fall. I'm gonna take a picture of this guy. Okay, there goes our trout. Just trying to get a good picture of him, but whatever. Didn't even get a picture of him. Hooked up. I don't want to lose this guy. I've lost too many of them. <laughs> Let me get him in the net. Come here, bud. Oh, let's go. Pretty ass rainbow. After hooking up like three times in this hole and losing them. Yeah. It's just... Super pretty holdover rainbow. Look at the colors on them. I'm gonna need to get a picture of this guy. Yeah. All right guys, this is first bigger fish of the day and well worth the hike to walk all the way down here. Um, I hooked up like three times in this hole before this guy, but I lost those fish. But I'm sure they were also decent sized rainbows. Let me let this guy go. Let's go. I saw this guy jump. <laughs> Cast it over to where he was. He took one of my flies. I don't know which one, top or bottom. And he's on the reel. I think it's another rainbow. Get over here in my net. This one is not a bad size. I think biggest rainbow I've caught out of this creek nice let me look at him yeah most of them in this creek are pretty the stocked fish I'd say are pretty small the wild ones get big in here for being wild but they all range from like 10 to like 14 inches I'll measure this guy let me get it out here's biggest rainbow I've caught in this creek at least this year uh I don't know if it's ever, but he's not outside. Let me get him. He took the Copper John, 16-ish, maybe 16 and a half. I met him, but it wasn't the best. Like I was saying, he's 16, 16 and a half inch rainbow. Stock cold over. Fought nice on the three weight. And I'm 
always looking for you catching a nice fish like that. Hooked one. It's another nice sized one, I feel like. Saw it for a second. He's fighting really hard, damn. This one might be bigger than the last. He's fighting like a big trout. <clears throat> On the Perdigon. This is the exact fly I caught my uh, biggest trout to date on, my 27 and 27 inch bow. Oh yeah, this one's nice. Ooh, yes, nice bow. Get over here in the net. Ooh, it's brown and it's big. I don't know why I thought it was a bow that whole time. This is a nice fish. This is bi a definitely biggest fish I've caught in this creek. This is like a super pretty looking brown trout. This one's, I'm gonna measure him. Let me get over here in the shallower water. This, I think I found the best hole in this entire river. Cause I've pulled like so many fish out of this hole and they've all been massive. Look, there's the Perdigon corner of his mouth and take it out okay guys here's this 17 inch stocked brown we just caught massive hen for this creek um, she was caught on the Perdigon uh, here's the hen I just caught an absolute monster of a trout for this spot 17 inch Brown trout, obviously stocked, but amazing fish, uh, nevertheless. I'm gonna get an underwater release with her. Cause she's biggest fish I've ever gotten from this creek, so. Hey guys, here's the fly that that fish took. It's the exact fly I caught my biggest ever rainbow on. The 27 inch, uh, stock bell from New Jersey but this creek has been producing so many fish for me this year and this hole right here I've literally pulled like what is it three big trout out of it but I hooked up with like at least three others and I'm sure I'm gonna catch about a bunch more right now um I've just been letting I've been casting up here and just letting it go down and usually when it's drifting down about right there that's when they hit. And I'm guessing there's a lot of fish down there. And um, let's see if I can get on some more. God's been blessing me with some nice fish today. Oh, he's jumping. I think this is another one that took the Perdigon. Just finished talking, talking about what I was gonna do fishing here. Yeah, nice little brown, getting <laughs> smallest fish of the day, or from this hole, not smaller than that one brook trout, but second brown of the day. I think this one's wild, or let me see him. Yeah, oh, very pretty wild brown. Took the Perdigon. There it is, top of the mouth. I'm gonna take a picture of this fish. I'm gonna get an underwater release with this guy before the GoPro dies. That fish also took the pretty gun, by the way. Got another one. I'm really catching so many. This is definitely the best hole in this river. I've caught like What is this? Definitely over 10 fish moved in this hole. Is it another rainbow? Is it a brown? This fish is also not a bad size. 
Come here, bud. He's right in front of me. Come on, get in here. I'm really putting my three weight to work today. Another nice rainbow. This one's got nice pink purple colors on it. Chill out, bud. Did the hook come out? I think it did. Look at that fish. Really nice purples on it. Let me get him out of here. Another one. This is insane. I've given up counting how many fish I've caught out of this hole but I'm not gonna take this for granted I'm just gonna keep fishing it until I stop hooking up shit almost lost him there surprised I didn't just trying to get him on the reel here okay what am I doing here we go is this another what even is this? It's a nice little brown. Is it a wild or a stock one? Let's see. I think this one's another wild, or no. This guy could, yeah, no, this guy's definitely stocked. Hook already came out? Yeah. I don't know what I was just reaching for. But, okay guys, I wasn't recording, but I thought I saw bunch of creek chub and I was just walking up this creek trying to get to the road to get out of here look it's a super colored up pretty brookie I'm gonna take a picture of this guy I wonder if I can catch more of them there's a ton of little brook trout out there that's insane <laughs> I could have sworn they were creek chub maybe he was just one of the brook trout sitting in there with the creek chub or something but yeah, like, the river's down there. This is a little side creek, and this is like this pool. I would not expect to catch this out of here. It's crazy. I was about to end up my, end my day of fishing. They're being up since like 5 a.m. Kinda spent, it's like 12 o'clock right now. I've been fishing all day. This fish is beautiful. Yeah, here's this trout. Super pretty looking native rookie. Look at those colors. The reds on this one are insane. Let me get them out of here. But yeah, I was literally just walking up this creek to try to get out of the uh, main river. Usually I'd walk it all the way down from where my uh, house is. But this time I decided, oh shit. I was gonna try to climb up this, uh, side creek get to the road and then walk back a different way and I just saw a big school of fish and I cast into it a brookie got pulled out of there so that was interesting but yeah I'm I'm done fishing now I'll probably be back tonight get on some of the fish in the uh, main part of the river Go. Got him in the net. Took a while to get a trout this afternoon. This morning I had a really quick day. And I was expecting to have a quick afternoon too. But I've been out here for like over an hour and this is the first fish I've landed. Nice little rainbow on the squirmy. A smaller one, but a nice fish regardless. Let me get him out of here. Oh. Sorry, buddy. Hold up. I'm gonna get an underwater video. Oh, this fish does not want me to get underwater video. Here he is. Nice looking rainbow. There he goes.
got a nice one. Second one of the afternoon. The slower afternoon, may I add. It's not a bad rainbow. Um, he's a bit beat up, but let's see him. He took the uh, scud I had. There he is. Not a bad rainbow at all. Let's get him out of here. Okay, guys. It's my third day here in the Poconos. And I decided to fish this tributary to the river I was fishing the other day. But I've been here for an hour now. And I haven't caught a single trout. And um, I've caught like 700 creek chub. They're pissing me off. It started raining. I slipped and ate shit like 10 times on the river. But I'm going to keep at it. And I'm going to try to get all the way down to the main creek. I think I'm about halfway. Which isn't too good because of how long I've been... Okay. Now there's a barrier too. How do I get past this? I'm going to have to go up here. I've been hiking basically for the past hour and I probably got another hour of hiking till I get to the... look at that there's another one of these creek ch just pick that thing up what is this it's a shiner don't know what that thing was doing that was weird but I'm really hoping I can catch some trout soon any trout I catch today is really gonna be rewarding for this long ass hike I've been doing I'm literally scaling the side of this cliff right now, basically. But... Let's go. Finally hooked up with one. Only took all day and hiking. Shit. My line got wrapped around my reel. What even happened there? I can't lose this fish. It's literally second hookup after being out here for like four hours. I'm having a horrible day today. Come on, get in here, bud. Hey, let's go. This fish feels so rewarding, even though it's just a average size stock bow. Fought nice though on the three weight, and he took the uh, Perdigon orange tipped one. I don't even know what you'd call that. Not a bad looking fish though. Nice colors on them. Come on, chill. Let me just show you the camera. There he is. Not a bad fish at all. Okay, guys. Here's my first trout of the day after like the four mile hike down to the spot from the tributary. Let me get an underwater release of them. Second fish of the day on, or no, third of the day on. Second landed if I get him in. Let's see, I think he took the Pertagon again. Yeah. It's a brownie. A nice little brownie. Let me take that. There's the fly corner of the mouth. Take that out. Pops out super easily because it's barbless. They're always taking that Pertagon. Yesterday I was using the one with the pink and it was working really well. And today I'm using the one with the uh, what's it called? 
called orange and it's working just as well but these fish are really feeling way more rewarding than they were yesterday because of how far i had to walk today to get here I literally hike like at least a mile and a half down the tributary without catching any fish took me like two hours and walked a mile like in the woods trying to get here let me get this guy out of here